Hello people, uh, in today's video, why do I always clap? I don't know why I do that, I just clap every time. Um, in today's video, I am going to be comparing Canva Free, their free plan, versus Vista Create Starter, I think it's called, which is their free plan. So you've probably heard of Canva, you may not have heard of Vista Create, they are both what would you say, content creation tools, media editing tools. So they allow you to easily create really cool um, visual assets, graphics, etc., imagery for social media, presentations, you name it. So I've used Canva for years and recently I switched to Vista Create. So no surprise, I'm going to I'm going to recommend Vista Create, not just because I use it. I'm not going to make any affiliate income off it because you can get it for free. So there's no I've got no motivation to recommend Vista Create apart from the fact that I think it's better and there's really one key reason that it's better and you could read what that reason is, hear what that reason is and just stop watching the rest of the video because that's really all you need to know. But anyway, let's switch over first of all to the old uh, pricing pages. So it's not that Canva isn't better in some regards. So one thing we'll see here, oh, it's not even letting me highlight it on the screen. Um, I should make my mouse bigger. Over here, Canva free, second line down in the features you'll love, 250,000 plus free templates. That is significantly more than you get with the Vista Create plan. Vista Create only mentions 100,000 plus free templates. So you get significantly more free templates with Canva. However, I would argue that generally speaking, you're gonna to need to tweak and customize templates anyway to make them work for your brand. So as long as you can get close enough that that customization process is easy, it doesn't have to be the perfect template that has everything exactly as you want it to be. Because realistically, it's probably not going to be. So is the extra 150,000 free templates you get with Canva a significant advantage I mean yes it's definitely nice to have more options but no for me it's not huge um, the other thing we're gonna see here again I can't highlight it uh, five gigabytes of cloud storage that's not a huge amount so it's not the end of the world you can download and store off Canva um, but you are probably if you use it a lot you're gonna reach a point where you fill it up and you can no longer save documents in Canva unless you delete other older documents so Major advantage with Canva free over Vista Create Starter is it's got a lot more free templates. It's got 250,000 free templates as opposed to 100,000 with Vista Create. So let's just flick over to the Vista Create pricing page. I was right, it is called Starter, free forever. Um, 10 gigabytes of storage, so twice as much storage. As you can see here, it's only got 100,000 plus design templates. I say only, but that's still tons. So I think you'll be fine. I think it'll be enough. You'll be able to make it work. The big one, and let me see if, will it let me highlight it? Oh yes, let's see, this website's better because it lets me highlight things. Um, the big one is you get brand kits. Now, if you don't know what a brand kit is, actually let's just flick over to Vista Create here. So I'll go to home, first of all and up the very top, second from the right, I'm logged in obviously into my um, Vista Create account. You'll see a little button that says Brand Kits and you'll see I have set up, I've, ha I've kind of done a half ass job of setting it up. Oh no, I have, I have set it up, okay, that's good. that's good. It was hidden by pop-ups. So I've been able to add my logo, I've been able to add my color palette and I've been able to set my font, my font preferences. So this is huge because when I mentioned before about you know you'll often end up wanting to customize any template no matter how close it is to being perfect for your needs adding your logo and your brand palette and your do you say palette or palette I say palette um, and your brand fonts is hugely important because it's helping you create consistent branding so it is giving you a consistent visual presence online uh, and it's also helped creating a vibe for your business you know is it serious and formal is it funky and playful as you can tell from the well as you can probably tell from these colors i'm funky and playful at least i try to be um otherwise i would have more boring colors in my color palette the brand kit alone is enough reason that i would recommend anybody to 
drop Canva and start using Vista Create. There, I'm sorry, I said it. Um, I'm sorry, Canva. It this is uh, on the free plan. This is a game changer for people. So if you're using Canva now, do yourself a favor, switch to Vista Create. We don't even need to switch. Just start using Vista Create and create a brand palette in there. And if you need help with your brand colors, I use this website here called Coolers, and it's really cool. It'll help you just generate a really cool color palette in a really easy and fun way. You can save it, and then you just reference or save those colors on your website everywhere so that you start having a really consistent brand presence, which I don't get. Um, but I'm working on it. So this video was still too long, five minutes and 45 something seconds, but it's shorter than I normally am. So short version, stop using Canva, start using Vista Create, use the brand kit, do yourself a favor, and your branding and your visuals are gonna be much, much nicer. Right, I think that says it all really. Over and out.